Hey there everybody, Jen with Laughing Lotus Wellness, welcome in. We are talking about renewal this month and so renewal is just, it is just such a beautiful energetic word for this time of year. And so if you followed the other vlogs I did for last week, um, I will just continue to number them as we go and create them. Um, but what I wanna do is just revisit a, a little piece of material so we can kind of keep moving through our vlog series here. And so renewal as I, as I right, created, um, some, some language around this to just think a little bit differently about it, means it reset energy in the new lens as we embrace the whole of ourselves. And so that's really what my acronym is for RENEW. Again, reset energy in the new lens as we embrace the whole of ourselves. I'm just making sure it's kind of a mouthful, um, right? And so I want us to have a new lens or pair of goggles to look through for perspective about renewal. One of the things I want to talk briefly about today is um, as a clinician of 20 plus years, uh, I worked with people for a really long time um, in trying to find ways to deal with transitioning out of some of our thoughts. We know that thoughts are really, really important. Thoughts are a huge piece of our journey as a human being. And we spoke some last week about agreements, and I think this is a really nice tie-in, which is what I would encourage you to look at as a mathematical equation, which is I have this story in my life, I can develop an agreement, even when I'm not really aware of it, about that story, what it means I should or shouldn't do. And then um, my, my thoughts follow that space, so then my behavior is going to fall in line, right? And so what we want to do is take time in the spring to cleanse everything, right? And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But what I really want us to do, or what I would invite you to do, is cleanse the energy of the agreements and stories you might be carrying around with you. And so it's just time to take a look at that. And so what I really encourage you is to pick an area that you think you might have an agreement in for yourself and pick one and realign with that. So go back in time, spend a little bit of time and energy just kind of going backwards, looking at a time where a story gave you this idea that you needed to live in an agreement in a certain way, okay? So we're gonna go back and check for that. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward a click and say, okay, so my agreement is X. I had this one experience with a friend and um, from there, I had this agreement that friendship was hard for myself, so I protected myself and I, and I didn't step into friendship because it scared me and I was afraid of being hurt. And then I need to look at that. So that turned into, I have a reservation when it comes to my relationships with other friends. And so I can tell that it kind of plays out in this way that's not always serving me. And what I can say is that at the time that it happened, it it that agreement that I created for myself was pr trying to protect me, right? So we wanna give credit to that rather than being really judgmental and harmful in our thoughts and energy. Um, we wanna just look at it and say, okay, I understand, I see you there. This gesture that I was making is all about what I needed at the time. And where I am now isn't like it was when I first created this agreement. So I need to renew it. I need to understand what that means. And sometimes we wanna cleanse the old ones, right? So today I just wanna put a couple of thoughts out there as we're heading into this season. One is picking this one area. And then um, a little bit about how to cleanse and move through some of these pieces. And so the first thing is, like I said, I really encourage you to pick out an agreement that you can check in for yourself and you can say, yep, feel like I have an agreement in this area of my life. Now, the positive ones I said last week, stay. It's the ones we're looking for that don't fit so well. And we're gonna do this step-by-step -step process, right? I'm gonna identify the story, identify the agreement, give myself permission to renew that because that's not working for me anymore. Um, and so you just give yourself permission to step into that, maybe cleanse some energy around it, release that out. Give yourself permission to renegotiate and renew that agreement in a way that really suits you much better. And so that's kind of what our week is gonna be about. And what I would like to do is I said in my, in my message, pull the string from the thread, from our meditation today, from the beginning of the new year, or the last time you set some intention for yourself or goals, and I wanna pull that thread all the way forward to today. And what I'd like you to do is begin to look and go, okay, so if I wanna shift an agreement, what I need to do is set an intention in transforming that agreement, right? So what we wanna do is, is that's where the pull is in from this 
this kind of beginning of the new year, where was I, where was I, what was I trying to do and transform and grow into? Where are you growing? Right? I love this idea. Where are you growing? Not just where are you going? Where are you growing? And so if you had an idea where you started the beginning of the year and you felt really firmly about the things that you had in your mind, are you staying the course with those? This is a great time to re-examine those new year's goals. Like, Hey, am I, am I there? Am I aligned with that? How is this journey going for me? It's not from a place of judgment. Again, it's from a place of compassion and kindness and love. Like, how is this going? Am I feeling good in this? Or could I use a little renewal? Could I use a little tweak that's just going to help me settle even more deeply into that intention that I set for myself, right? And if there's any agreements tied to it, that's where the work would come. That's a whole separate deal. But I want to throw out there that that's kind of the step, right? We get clear. We get clear about the agreement. Then we, we what we want to do, cleanse that as much as possible. And what we then next want to do is look at an intention. And again, one reference would be where was I at the new year? What was I looking for? Maybe on my birthday, if that's kind of more of a resonant space for you to kind of reinvent your, yourself and your intentions for your year, whatever it might be, but go back to that and see how that's fitting. Is that still fitting? Or am I feeling like I'm a little bit off kilter? And this is just an invitation. It's a great time. We're renewing all sorts of things. The earth is growing again. All the things are happening, right? Spring has great energy for this kind of work. And so I just want to invite you to kind of go in, poke around. This is sort of the mathematical equation, right? If you will. So that's where I would start you um, in the journey for our vlogs this week. And I hope that that just gets you kind of moving in a direction that feels really juicy to you, that feels like it's going to help you renew this sense of where you're growing. Um, and so take it for what it's worth. I think this is a great exercise. And what I would really like you to do is just pick one one area and focus in on that and give yourself the space, time and energy to really kind of move into that and see what happens, what kind of transformation you can stick into because I think that's so beautiful. Um, so give that a go and see what you think and tell me about what you find and what you come up with. I can't wait to hear what your answer is when you think about all of this intention, the area that you want to grow into. What are you finding for yourself? And hopefully your story will inspire someone else.